Hi guys, welcome to this video on Tech Made Easy. Uh, I'm going to be taking you through how to use Wondershare DVD Creator uh, to create your own personal DVD using uh, videos that you've recorded yourself. Uh, so here we are on the main screen. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start to import some videos. So click Import here. And on my desktop, I have a folder called DVD Creator with some videos. These are some videos that I've uploaded to the Tech Made Easy YouTube channel on different XBMC skins. Uh, so let's add the first one. And then we'll add another title. And we'll add the second one. We'll add another title. Add the third one. And add another title. Add the last one. And what you can do is you can click on any one of these. You can rename them. So what I'm going to do, because we know it's an XBMC skin demonstration, I'm going to change the name of the file. So it's just the skin name, and the same on all of these. rename the titles to the video names. This is just so that I know what I'm working with. You see why in a little while. Okay, so we've added those and each and every one of these videos we can click on and we can preview them. make sure you've got them in the right order. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is uh, click on the menu tab here at the top and you can set up the menu. So here you see the structure uh, of what it's going to put them on two title pages because uh, the um, templates that you use only support showing three title pages on each menu slide. Uh, so what we will do is let's select that one. That one looked pretty good. We'll change it, the name of it to XBMC Skins. And what we can do is uh, we can move any of these objects around. So I can move that around there. We can move the title block around, stick it in near enough in the middle. Uh, we can change the font. Let's change it to something like... Too bad. You can change the color as well. So we can have it in a nice blue, or you can have it in sort of purpley pink, or let's change it back to white. Uh, you can move these buttons or rename the text in them. Uh, we'll just leave them as they are for now. And you can say you can move this box around. Down here at the bottom, you can customize the background. You could put your own JPEG in, to, in place of this uh, lovely black and green background. Uh, it does come with some music. So let's change the music if we can. I'm trying to think if I've got anything on my computer. I don't think I have, actually. No, I've not transferred any music over. Let's play the default one, see what it sounds like. Not the nicest music in the world, but we'll roll with that. Uh, let's just OK that. You can click to apply it to all. Uh, you can change the volume in it. Let's just scale that back a bit. OK on that. Uh, so that's our first menu screen. Let's go across to the next menu screen. And that's going to basically, let's change that to say XBM skin, see skins again. And here's where you can see thumbnails of each of the individual ones. So those are the first three. You can see as I'm clicking on these, it's highlighting in the left-hand pane what it is. So that's Confluence. That would be Ellipsis. That would be Slick. And if we go to the next page, that would be the Carmichael there. So let's change that to, tell you what. We'll go back to that one. We'll change that to page one. We'll change that to page two. And while we're at it, if we go back to the other one, let's put some text boxes in so we can see what we're dealing with. Let's put one down here that says Confluence. And... We'll change the size of that to be a bit smaller. And 
Yeah, let's have it as white. Move that to there. Let's put another one in. We'll have this one say ellipsis. Drag it over to here. And we'll make that white a little bit smaller. And we'll have one more that says slick. We'll change that. It's the same size and colour as the other ones. Let's put that over there. And if we go to page two again, let's just stick one in here for completeness. It says the Carmichael fucking spell. Okay, so aside from the theme music, um, I'm pretty much happy with that. So if we go to the preview tab. What that'll do is actually play the DVD menu with the annoying music. And then we can use these navigation buttons down here, which are the same as you'd get on your DVD remote to navigate around. So if we just go to play and hit enter, it will play the first video. And then if we clicked next chapter, it would play the second video, then the third video and the fourth video. Click the home button and it would take us back to the menus. So if we go down to scenes and hit enter, it would transition round to page one, confluence, ellipsis, slick. So we could select any of those individually. Or if we headed to the right button, it would then show us the Carmichael on page two. So once we're happy, uh, let's go back to the stop that actually because the music's annoying me. Uh, we could go to burn. And what we could do is either burn it to a disc, stick a blank DVD into your DVD drive, uh, click burn to disc and click burn and it would do it. Or because I haven't got any DVD-Rs on me, save it as an ISO file. Give it a label. It's going to be saved as TV Standard PAL in screen ratio 16.9 and those can be changed via the options menu up here and click burn. And what that will do is create the titles. It will convert the video files into a video file that is um, inherent to DVD players. It will organize all the menus. It will organize all the video files into a DVD that you can put into any DVD player. and It will play back exactly as it did in the preview menu. So a great program from Wondershare. That's Wondershare DVD Creator. This is the Windows version. There's also a Mac version available uh, from £26 on the Wondershare website. Thanks for watching, guys.